Today, we got some fresh intel about Samsung's next-gen smartphone chip, the Exynos 2600. If you're curious about what's powering the Galaxy S26 series, this one's for you. So a South Korean media outlet just reported that Samsung has officially started mass production on the Exynos 2600 prototypes. This chip is expected to power the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Plus next year. Here's the kicker. It's going to be made on Samsung's brand new S.2 node, which could make it the world's first 2 nanometer smartphone SoC to hit the market. That's a huge leap in chip manufacturing tech. Now here's an interesting twist. While the S26 and S26 Plus will run on the Exynos 2600, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to stick with a Snapdragon chip, but not the special for Galaxy Snapdragon variant Samsung usually uses. This time it's tipped to be the regular Snapdragon 8 Elite 2. That said, Samsung is still working hard to improve production yields. Right now, the Exynos 2600's yield is hovering around 40%, with the goal being at least 50% soon, and ideally above 60% before full mass production kicks off later this year. If this sounds familiar, it's because Samsung faced a similar issue with the Exynos 2500 last year. That chip was delayed and only started rolling out mid-2025 due to production struggles on the S3 node. So there's a chance we might see a repeat with the Exynos 2600, especially since the S2 node is reportedly a rebadged version of S3, called S3P. Also worth noting, the Exynos 2500 is slated for the Galaxy Z Flip 7, while the more premium Galaxy Z Fold 7 will continue to use Snapdragon's 8 Elite for Galaxy chip. At this early stage, it's hard to say exactly how the Exynos 2600 will stack up against competitors like the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 or MediaTek's Dimensity 9500. Both of those are expected to deliver impressive improvements this generation, so Samsung's got some catching up to do. What do you think? Are you excited to see Samsung pushing the boundaries with Tunem chips, or are you worried about the production hurdles and delays? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We got some exciting news for all you tech fans and smartphone enthusiasts out there, especially if you're waiting for the next Galaxy S26. It looks like Samsung's upcoming phone might just outpace Apple's new iPhone 17 Pro Max in raw CPU power. Yeah, you heard that right. So here's the scoop. The Galaxy S25 series ran exclusively on the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, but the Galaxy S26, well, it's rumored to come with two possible chips depending on the model and region, the new Exynos 2600 or the brand new Snapdragon 8 Elite 2. Now, what's really turning heads are the leaked performance numbers for that Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chip. According to Chinese tipster Digital Chat Station, who shared some early test results on Weibo, this chipset is built on TSMC's cutting-edge 3rd Gen 3 nanometer process. And get this, the octa-core CPU scored over 11,000 points in Geekbench 6 multi-core test and 4,000 points in the single-core test. That means compared to the previous Snapdragon 8 Elite, we're looking at a whopping 29% boost in single-core performance and a solid 12% increase in multi-core. But here's the real kicker, it matches Apple's A19 Pro chip in single-core scores and actually beats it by a good margin in multi-core performance. This could mark the first time ever that an Android chipset overtakes an iPhone's flagship chip in CPU performance. Pretty wild, right? On the graphics side, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 comes with the Adreno 840 GPU, which reportedly packs 16 megabytes of graphics memory. And we already know the GPU in the Snapdragon 8 Elite that powered the Galaxy S25 beat out Apple's at 18 Pro GPU last year. So graphics are only going to get better. So what do you think? Are you excited for the Galaxy S26 to potentially steal the performance crown from Apple? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you. So hit subscribe now and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, 
but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and O LED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.